This is brass casting. Let's start by making green sand using bentonite clay, which is really just kitty litter unscented. To do this grinding, I'm using a Walmart blender. To keep from burning your blender up, make sure to do this in small batches. Make sure that you use silica flour for your parting dust. Now it's time to make our mold. You can take all the time you need to get your mold just right. Now get your scrap brass together and let's do some casting. We're going to be using the Castmaster GG2000, which I'll put a link uh, to Amazon down below. Man, this metal is hot. you got to be very careful. You'll notice I'm wearing uh, gloves here a lot of the time. Sometimes you can catch me without wearing uh, gloves. got to be careful not to lose a finger. So after your brass melts and sinks down, then you have to add more. We're going to add more here now. Did you notice I wasn't wearing gloves here? Now we just gotta wait for this to heat up. It takes about 20-30 minutes to get a full crucible up to around 1800. I'd say we're just about ready to pour. And if you happen to like these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and clean this casting up. We'll cut the sprue and the vent off and move over to the lathe. That's pretty nice, huh? So next we'll show you the finished product sitting right next to the pattern.
thanks for watching guys don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and share this video with your friends